Hey everybody and welcome to this little video about uh, how we install Concrete 5 on MAMP. Um, it is actually very easy people. I have MAMP running right now. Uh, you can see here Apache is running and MySQL is running. If we open up Chrome and we type in localhost, we get a, a picture of all the websites I have in my uh, web server currently. We don't have anybody. If I type um, slash MAMP, we can get the default welcome page for MAMP and see that it is actually working. But we need to download uh, Concrete 5 first. So I got it right here. You need to uh, type in this in your uh, URL in the browser. And then you can see here we can download Concrete 5 version 821 and let's go get that one and while this is downloading we need to um, we need a place to store this CMS uh, in MAMP the folder where we store all of our websites is called htdocs and uh, this is where we're gonna copy this uh, this file here so I'm gonna extract it so we can see here that uh, Concrete 5 is in here. I'm just gonna copy this folder and then I'm gonna put it into htdocs folder. And depending on your computer, this uh, can take a, a couple of minutes. Um, so I'm gonna be back when it's finished. All right. Um, now we've got this folder extracted and it says concrete 5, 8 to 1. I'm just going to rename this because uh, otherwise I need to type in I need to type in localhost and slash concrete 5, 8 to 1 and this is kind of long so I'm just going to rename this to, to C5. This is very short. Okay, very good. Um, all right, people, we're going to type in localhost slash C5. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we got the installation program for Concrete 5 now. Uh, it says the version up here, 8 to 1. We can select the language. Uh, so we're going to go and think I'm going to go with English. And now Concrete 5 are making some tests on the system to see if we can actually install uh, the CMS and we can see we got the PHP version, we got JavaScript, uh, MySQL, PDO if the files and configuration directories are writable and some other stuff uh, so this is very good this is very good, we will click continue to installation so now we need to type in uh, a lot of things here people, we need to type in the site of our website. I'm just going to put in Concrete 5 site and administrator email address. Uh, this is just your email address, so I just type this in here. And we can type in an administrator password. Now, this is running from a local machine on MAMP, so we don't have to worry so much about security right now. So I'm going to put in 12345. As a password. This is not very, very secure, but this is um, running on a local machine. Then we can choose uh, how we want uh, Concrete 5 to start. Do we want to have an empty site? We don't have any theme. Well, we have an unstyled elemental theme, uh, and we need to kind of make a lot to make a working website. Or we can go with full site, uh, which is going to create. A full website with elemental theme uh, including everything so I'm just gonna go with that because this is the easiest way to start up using concrete 5 and then we need to type in some database information uh, we don't have a database yet for uh, this CMS so uh, if we go into MAMP the start page we can see here we got tools and I can find PHP my admin and in here I can create a database and this is the database that Concrete 5 is going to save all the information in. So uh, click on databases and we will type in c5 underscore db. 
click enter and we can see here we got uh, yep we got it right there c5 db then we're gonna head back again to concrete 5 and we're typing in the server name this is localhost because we're running on a local machine mysql uh, username this is called root when we are on uh, on this map server the password is also root when we are on a local machine and the database name this was the database we just created before so this is c5 uh, underscore db so we are typing in c5 underscore db and this is, should do it people let's click on install concrete 5 my installation finished and we can see now that uh, everything is done this is brilliant and uh, Concrete 5 has been installed. Uh, you've been logged in as administrator with the password we chose. And down here we can see edit your site. So I'm just going to click on that. And let's see if we can open up our site, our Concrete 5 site. So here we got it. Oh, we got some uh, learn the basics help. I'm just going to close that. This is the default setup in Concrete 5. This is the elemental theme uh, that ships with Concrete 5. Uh, very nice theme. And we can see here that we got, uh, we got the header bar where we can uh, edit Concrete 5, uh, edit the website. Uh, we've installed Concrete 5. Uh, thank you very much for watching, people. Bye-bye.